The kettlebell push press is a fantastic total body explosive exercise. Now we're going to break things down and show you every detail about the kettlebell push press. So we're going to have Evan get the kettlebell in the rack position. Now once we're in the rack position, we're going to have you come over this way. We want to make sure that the elbow stays connected to the rib cage. And the initial dip of the push press is very hip, hip driven. So we want to make sure that when we dip, our hips go slightly backwards. We don't want the knees to go forwards, okay? We want to be able to sit into that, uh, that little bit of a quarter squat, and that's where our power is going to come from. So we're going to get into that nice dip position, and from here, this is where our power is going to come from. So we're going to explode upwards, and we're just going to send that kettlebell up. So we're going to drive through, and we're going to lock out overhead. So there's two different ways that you can get the kettlebell to come down. You can do an active pull, which is what we're going to start off with, or Let's do one more, uh, one more push press, and then we're gonna come on up. And you can just guide the kettlebell down with some momentum, and that gets you into the second dip. So we're gonna do a side view. So let's have you spin. Yep, doesn't matter which way. So we're gonna start with the initial dip, okay? In this position, we still got a nice neutral spine. Hips are loaded. We're gonna bring the elbow a little bit closer to the rib cage, try to get you a little bit more vertical. And we're gonna bring the hips through, and once we bring the hips through, the kettlebell's gonna fly off of the rib cage, and it's gonna go into the overhead position. And off you go, boom. We land at that nice position, and then we catch with the second dip. Awesome, you can put that down. <clears throat> We're gonna give you a couple pointers on the timing, because that's really important. So when we do the push press, the initial dip is going to allow us to get that momentum. So here's a little drill that you can do where you're just gonna bounce the kettlebell and get some rhythm. So we're gonna dip and then we're just gonna pop it, okay? So we're just gonna explode through the hips and the kettlebell's just gonna go right about forehead height and then we're gonna reabsorb on our second dip. So it's gonna look like this, we're gonna pop. And then we can go up. So the timing on the second dip is very, very important. When the elbows hit the ribs, we're gonna go into our second dip. So we're gonna dip, drive, and then dip. Now, once you get heavier with the kettlebell push press, you're probably gonna focus on using momentum to guide it back into that second dip. If you're using a lighter kettlebell, you can do an active negative. So there's the basics of a kettlebell push press.